welcome to my video dear students today i am going to discuss one poem which is prescribed for first year being english institute of jayadhapur external here uh, the poem is under the title of violence or conflict wendelan brooks my dreams my works must wait till after hell <clears throat> Poem runs like this, I hold my honey and I store my bread. In little jars and cabinets of my will, I label clearly, and each latch and lid, I bid be firm till I return from hell. I am very hungry, I am incomplete, and none can tell when I may dine again. No man can give me any word but to it, the funny light. I keep eyes pointed in, hoping that when the devil days of my hurt, drag out to their last dregs and I resume on such legs as are uh, left me in such heart as I can manage remember to go home. My taste will not have turned insensitive to honey and bread all purity would love. Wendelin Brooks is an African-American poet who has won several awards for her poetic career. In this short poem, of course, sonnet, in this sonnet, she speaks about the uh, proportion of violence in America that banters Afro-Americans. So we have to think about the way that uh, the white majority assaults uh, black Americans. The word black American is not uh, suitable for our discussions. African American is better. You know, in the history, African slaves were brought to America, right? And later they had their offsprings there. Then who is wrong? Is it the modern generation? Modern generation has no any uh, proximity with that, though history is bad. That means Americans, right, had sex with those Africans. As a result of that, African Americans were born. Now at present, white people harass black people. Now the narrator of this sonnet is a girl. She is a university girl, college girls, and she has to leave university because of the arising of violence. At the zenith of violent activities, she could not stay in university furthermore, so she has to leave home. When she leaves university, she leaves university, she writes this, I hold my honey and I store my bread. So we have to think. I hold my honey and I store my bread. Hold and, sorry, honey and bread are metaphors for human desires. General human desires. Being a girl, especially student, she may have so many hopes for future to complete education to get job married marriage and having children so many hopes are there so she holds my honey and I store my bread she says I hold my honey and bread the desires she holds them in little jars and cabinets of my will she has cabinets of will little jars and cabinets of will are also metaphors for Yes, desires, jars. Her jars are little. She stores her honey and stores her bread in those little jars, which means her hopes, her desires are also very few, little. Being black Americans, they can't have so many desires. Their right rights are limited, confined. They cannot exercise their rights. I label them clearly and each latch and lid. What does he say? I label them clearly. Why do you label the things for the convenience of identifying later to recognize this is this, this is that, like that? So she, she labels them. She labels a honey and bread in little containers, thinking that one day in future she will be able to consume them again. Right? I bid. Be firm till I return from the hell. 
the poet uses uh, two techniques here one personification other one deduction i bid be firm till i return again she asks that's imagery also here it's an imagination she asks her desires to stay still till she returns from the hell hell means the time period of violence now title also my dreams my works my dreams she has so many dreams my works education and other things must wait till after the hell hell means the time period of violence she has a hope that it will be over and she will be able to return to her position later that, that's why she said be firm till i return from the hell hell means again the time period of violence now we have to apply this with the right apartheid in america segregation apartheid that uh, arises due to compression i'm very hungry i'm incomplete the student says i'm very hungry i'm incomplete why hungry because she can't uh, eat she's hungry because being an american black american especially african american she has no her own freedom at least to get food now uh, i'm incomplete she's also incomplete why she's uh, uh, an afro-american she's not given rights she's harassed even in towns they are assaulted some black men are killed yes and none can tell when i may dine again another truth none can tell when i may dine again that means no one can tell when she will dine again what the reason she doesn't know when the violence will cease yeah. how many years will it take she's not con uh, confident of that she's not aware of it she doubts why when it will end and when she will return to her yes desires to consume her honey and bread uh, the honey light i keeps uh, eyes pointed thing about her world there is no light it is weakly lit right weak light that's why she has to keep eyes pointed thing she's seen living in half darkness darkness prevails upon her world as a result of being black hoping that when the devil days of my heart devil days of my heart also a period of violence the heart is fast in the devil days because she can't exercise her desires she can't enjoy her life she has no rights at least to learn and complete her degree in university yes drag out their last drinks and resume her legs are not strong enough her body is not strong enough her mind is also weak as a total person is she's weak she can't uh, stand on her own feet as a citizens of america that the tragedy here the poet expresses that's why i say uh, on such legs has uh, left me in such heart yes legs are also heart is also same week i can manage remember to go home she says she can manage herself remember to go home that means she and she goes on unconsciously she is half, half unconscious she has no mind finally she says that she says that my taste will not have turned insensitive to honey and bread all purity could love that is a very innocent human imagination <clears throat> or wish that she wishes that her taste will not have disappeared for uh, honey and bread that means again there is a very innocent request for the human world otherwise an uh, inhuman human world human world is inhuman right because uh, man takes a uh, weapon against other man man doesn't take weapons against another kind of animals man himself right she wishes that my taste will may have right remained to consume my bread and honey and bread in future you may understand this poem as uh, this short way but it has a depth a deep meaning regarding the uh, humanity and as i mentioned previously how black americans were born we have to think about their pedigree uh, they were africans africans were brought to america 
when there was slave trade when it was implemented that time so who is responsible those male and female both were brought here then white american the original settlers of america are wrong actually uh, america doesn't belong to uh, them they are also descendants of uh, england you know columbus uh, discovered america the original settlers of america were red indians you have heard chief settle in writing his letter he handed over the country but how can they uh, right claim ownership and deny the rights of these uh, black people there therefore this is a very innocent human request on the white majority white americans not to maul not to assault not to right uh, harass black americans because they are also citizens with equal rights at least they don't have right to learn the poet asks you us right she doesn't ask equal right she asks for her little right that's why little jars mm. cabinets of her will there are little things at least for those little things the point asks for the freedom now you can see metaphor simile mm. and the imagery deduction personification uh, etc techniques the themes are uh, afro-american and american problem black white uh, fight there quarrel apathy Mm. Uh, humanity was inhumanity, etc. Right? It's a Shakespearean time a sonnet with a rhyme scheme A B A B C D C D E F E F. Yes. Right. Then mm, I think uh, when writing answers, you have to combine two or three points and write. I will meet you again in another video. Goodbye.